Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have another journal with me video. This is going to be for week 27 part 2. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like and uh, if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I make videos every Monday through Friday and I'd love to see you here for the next one. But without rambling too much, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so I got my travel notebook here. I'm gonna try to work um, in my uh, notebook without removing the inside out of it. You'll notice very quickly that that was not a good idea. Uh, Traveler's company added this metal embellishment to the notebook in order to keep all the elastics together. And uh, as much as cute as it is, it's a pain to, <laughs> to try to work on your insert why you have to you know manage to keep your notebook straight with that embellishment on the bottom but anyways moving on um so we are going to uh, work with part two of week 27 so this is going to be for um july 2nd all the way through july 5th so from um Thursday through Sunday. So this was July 2nd. This was a Thursday um, I had it to run. There you go. That's what I was talking about I just give up on it and just remove my insert and put my notebook aside but Anyway going back to the layout. So in this day I had to run a lot of errands um, I was in town and uh, me and my boyfriend spent pretty much the entire morning um, you know just going to different places and uh, yes just being responsible adults <laughs> but um because this day i didn't even have time to have breakfast i literally had to go to town super early um it was like halfway through the day my boyfriend decided to go to a supermarket and grab some sushi and uh well, that was the highlight of my day, pretty much. <laughs> you notice that I had to save it, uh, the papers that, you know, you have the sushi sticks, whatever that one is called. I forgot now because my mind, it's always so good to remind me of stuff. But anyways, so the paper um, had this beautiful uh, bamboo illustration that was like green greenish i think <laughs> so i decided to come up with a whole layout to match that how fun anyways but also i had got a lot of those um you know new piece of ephemera from skylar hand studio they're all vintage so i just thought heck let's just use the same you know the same uh, materials and it just create a very fun botanical green layout so that's what i did so on the left side i decided to go over fully the page i didn't have a lot of uh, well i'm lying i did have a lot of journaling but i just wanted to cover the page i don't know i just decided that I, I didn't want to cut the illustration. I really like the illustration uh, that is kind of included uh, in my in my package. So I wanted to cover a full page. So in order to compensate for that and my lack of a, a journal page space because I'm just crazy like that. I like to decorate all my pages and then I have no space to journal. Um, but yeah. So what I decided to do was do a tip in because I mean that helps when you need a space in your page especially when you decorate heavily like I do and then you realize they had a lot of journaling to do that day and uh, half of your page was covered so that's what I did um, this is also uh, one of the papers that I got it from Skylar um, it was this very light green paper and uh, yeah it was just beautiful and it matched very well with everything so i glued down the half of the page with the illustration the botanical illustration i went ahead and uh, i grabbed one of my dictionary um this one i actually got it from my un uh, local antique shop here in town um i just grabbed a page that had some insect image like you can see on the top there of the page i thought it was fitting for the botanical thing 
so I decided to add it on the top right as well as a little bit because the uh, botanical illustration page didn't cover fully my uh, notebook page so I just decided to add it an extra bit of a um, of the same dictionary page on the bottom there then i went in and i just used one of my washi tapes to tape it this tip pen with this extra green paper it's a very light green i don't i don't know if you can even notice here on the screen hopefully you can it's a very beautiful green but anyways i'm gonna use this to write it at uh, the extra you know journaling that i need <laughs> for this day in this paper um so i use some of my washi tapes um i use one of this uh, washi tapes that looks like very vintage it has a lot of like flowers and birds i got very recently and michael's really like the washi tape i should probably have bought two of those because i can see myself using the washi tape all the time it's just beautiful i just thought it was so fitting it was like very botanical with birds and all of that fun stuff so i used that one i went on and grabbed some uh, ephemera from a team hold so that butterfly there that you see that green one that i cut kind of in half uh it's from team holds um it's from his botanical ephemera pack so i just cut it because i wanted to have that um, butterfly kind of in the center of the page and of course that uh, paper uh, from that ephemera is so thick i cannot just fold it it would just not work it so i just cut it and uh, it looked good so that's what i'm talking about that's the paper that was holding the sushi sticks and uh, you see there that bamboo i think it's bamboo i don't know correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but yeah so i just decided to <laughs> the whole idea of this page came from that illustration right there just because i wanted to save this so yeah that's pretty much it i just added a little bit of the same washi tape on the other side of the uh, of the page just to you know match and be a little bit cohesive i'm gonna come in with one of my fountain pens from kara kara's i can't talk kara <laughs> pens company from arizona it's a local company here and that's it i'm done with this uh, layout I am going to move on to the next page and this uh, next page is going to be Friday, July 3rd and this day I actually was actually the day that I received the package in the mail from Skylar Hand Studio plus this day was the day that I actually mailed a lot of my pen pal letters um, it was a crazy day I had already uh, some friends over um, and uh, there's a lot of mail involved in this day, a lot. Like I was in the post office mailing a bunch of letters and then I received this beautiful letter, um, not letter, package from Skylar. So I thought it was just very fitting to decorate this whole layout with a mail theme. So I decided to go ahead and rip this piece of the, uh, of the package and I say, you know you will see me there giving the thumbs up on the video because i finally w managed to remove that um you know the whole beautiful uh collage from the packaging that Skylar sent me and uh, yeah i just decided to go with the male theme um it, i don't know if you can notice through the video there but uh, one of the postage stamps that Skylar used to decorate uh, the packaging it's actually airmail that red one with the airplane so I just decided you know what I just um, pretty much my whole day today was related to mail so why I don't use that to decorate my page plus um, she had the airmail postage stamp there which was so fitting so I just decided to go with the airmail kind of very lightly airmail theme so i grabbed one of those uh vintage envelopes that i got from an antique shop here a local antique shop in my area um if you've seen my vintage haul video and if you haven't had a chance and you like that stuff i'll link it above here on the screen so you can check it out later um, but i grabbed a bundle of uh, vintage envelopes and uh this envelope that I'm using here was one of them. So I just cut it kind of like in half just to have that um, 
you know image of the airmail envelope that is so famous uh, with the stripes blue and red so I put that underneath it and I just went on and uh, grabbed um, the paper collage from the packaging that Scarlett sent it to me and I just added completely halfway through the page kind of cheating my way to decorate this page using Skylar's um, you know uh, paper collage but hey I mean <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes it's just a beautiful collage I mean I could not use it right and uh, what a better way to use it than on the exact day day that I actually received the packaging so anyway so I grabbed one of the a small ephemera packs that um, I got it from her shop and they had this um, um, airmail piece of ephemera kind of like a ticket so I just decided to grab a vintage tag and uh, one of those and add it uh, just to give a little bit more of our airmail detail and I also included two extra uh, postage stamps and um, right down the bottom a blue and a red just to go with the theme and I'm just going to town with some uh, wood stamps and I'm just stamping anything that's related to travel um, and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it uh, once I'm done with all the stamping I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue down the um, the airmail ephemera as well as that red tag that I can never remember the name <sighs> for the love of my life you see me struggling because I really didn't know where to put it I decided later on to just put it in a completely different place that I was thinking of it before because I just didn't think was matching with the airmail ephemera there and I think worked out worked out pretty good I was a very easy um, layout to create because thanks to Skylar <laughs> for sending me this beautiful collage in the packaging so I didn't have to do anything so thank you Skylar um, but yeah that's pretty much it I'm just gonna come in with another pen that I also got at Kara Pens Company and I'm just gonna write it the day and date so I know in case I forget what the, it is that I'm journaling about and uh, that's pretty much it I will be done with this layout and we are going to move on to the most exciting layout of this week which was 4th of July so if you guys don't know that I live in the US I actually live in Arizona so 4th of July it's our Independence Day um, here that's when America celebrates independence I had a got it from a Skylar Hand studio a package that's like a patriotic package and I was so excited to use you know the layout didn't live to the expectations I'm gonna be honest right here and uh, there's nothing to do with the ephemeras that I was using because I mean um, it's Skylar I uh, had it uh, selected very beautiful uh, ephemeras and I was so happy to use but I, I think I just <sighs> I just built so much expectation for this layout and I think at the end I just I put too much pressure on myself <laughs> and uh, I don't know I didn't super love it I mean I still love the colors and I think it was still a very fun layout at the end but I don't know I was hoping to be a little bit Mm, nicer <laughs> dramatic I think I I kind of messed up when I decided to go with this washi tape right there which is a washi tape that I got uh, from Michaels that has kind of like an airmail design but because it had a blue and red I thought it was so cool and I was like oh yes let's do that it's blue and red and white why not but the blue on this washi tape it's a very dark blue it's almost like a marine blue and I think I'm almost positive this was probably the reason why everything went south from, from here 
And if I watch it in this video, it's like, oh, it looks fine. Like, I really like it. And don't get me wrong. Like, I liked the idea of adding washi tape to all the edges of your page. I think adds uh, certainly a different style and detail to the page. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment if you liked it. <sighs> I had so much high expectations for this. Um, for this page, I was like, you know, I even bought this package, like this patriotic package from Skylar Hen, just so I could decorate this page. Uh, I wanted to be very fun and uh, very colorful with a lot of blues and reds and white, really be very patriotic. And I think I really messed up with this washi tape. I don't know. But anyways, I'm over it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not gonna redo it. But anyway, so going back here to what I'm doing because I mean if you let me I'll ramble my life away um, so one of the uh, ephemerals that came with the package the patriot patriotic package that I got from Skylar was this uh, popcorn package and uh, I was so happy to see that that she included that it was actually a very um, almost like a, a cardboard texture to that package so I thought it was perfect because I wanted to actually include some pictures from this day. Um, we had a few um, people over, not too, too much, but um, you know, so we took some pictures and uh, I wanted to include those pictures. I'm not going to include it here. Um, I didn't have time to, you know, to print the photos, so I'll include that later. Um, but I want to, I knew I wanted to make a tip pen so i could edit a lot of photos uh, to this page plus i had a lot of writing well not a lot but i had a, a decent amount of writing uh, of journaling for this day so i i knew i wanted to do a tip in so when i saw that this uh, popcorn package was actually uh, almost like a cardboard texture i was so happy because it was perfect to use as a tip and to add an extra picture so i just used uh, the same washi tape to just tape the um you know the piece of um uh, of paper from the popcorn packaging and uh, yeah so i can flip it um open and i'll be able to edit the pictures on that other side of the po popcorn packaging and uh, what I decided to do was just um, added a bunch of uh, postage stamps that were um, American themed. So uh, Skylar had added quite a bit of those in the patriotic package. Plus I added uh, some in my collection, most recent postage stamps, not uh, so vintage like the ones that she included. But um, I don't know, I added, uh, this blue uh, ticket bus ticket um, and uh, I don't know it's just I tried to make a cluster of posted stamps and uh, I added that tag uh, right there so I could add a date as well in the page but that is pretty much it that I did with this whole page and uh, I just didn't like but again like uh, um, like I said, I think I didn't plan quite well this page and uh, I just went with the flow and sometimes when I do that, it doesn't go as, as smooth as I was thinking it was going to. <laughs> um, I don't know, it looks fine. I'm just complaining because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I am just decided to glue a bunch of stuff. I came in with uh, some of those postages uh, just to add a little bit of a different items. I wish I had added different items besides just postage stamps, but I guess I was lazy and um, I just thought postage stamps would look good. And uh, But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to add a few more of those little tiny, um, tiny um postages um and that's pretty much it and then i'm gonna write it instead of writing the regular date like a normal person would do i just sorry if you guys can hear noise on the background that's probably my boyfriend mixing his smoothie 
anyway so i just decided to do fourth of july instead of july 4th like a normal person <laughs> i mean yeah i thought it was clever but anyways uh that's pretty much it here for this layout i'm gonna move on to my last um day of this week this was july 5th this was a sunday at this point i was done with vintage i was done with airmail and anything related to that i i don't know i was just like it's like okay i've been do doing so much vintage lately and don't get me wrong it's my favorite I don't think that's gonna change but you know it gets to a point that you want us to take a break at least i am like that i don't know if you guys are like that so i decided you know what like i need something different in this journal i'm feeling that almost like all of my layouts are the same beginning of my journal was all about like a lot about botanical vintage cover my planner and then the you know one of the first layout here in this video was also botanical I had a lot of vintage and then a lot of airmail so I really wanted to switch it up a little bit so because there is nothing too crazy happening this day I was right after 4th of July this was a Sunday it was a very chill we we're just like really um, you know resting and just chilling um, so I just decided to go with something very girly pinks and flowers and uh, just to represent that day i didn't have a lot to write this day i just have a paragraph so i could really uh, use up at least the full page just to decorate so that's what i decided to do all of the stickers that you see me using here with the flower and the word chill they're all from the happy planner line separate um sticker pads the roses is from those flowers pad and the word chill it's from going places line of the sticker pad uh, from happy plan as well anyways they were the same color so i thought was you was a good match and uh, this word chill it really represented this day it was a very chill day for us so i just grabbed a piece of uh, a paper from team holds this is actually a back of one of Tim Holt's card. It's a very, I don't know if you can see from the video, the line is kind of yellowish because I was filming this in the afternoon. As always, I keep messing up with my filming schedule. <laughs> so I have to film in the afternoon. So, uh, but I hope you can see there, it's a very uh, light green. So almost like an aqua green. And I just finished up with some Peon, uh, you know, um, paper doll um, this one I got it from one of my pen pals I'm just gonna add it an extra little flower there and I'm gonna call it good literally this was the laziest layout that I've made so far and uh, it turned out pretty good so I'm okay I'm just coming in with my little pen this is a Japanese uh, pen and I'm just adding the day and date and I'm gonna call it good I'm gonna bring it now, uh, close up so you guys can see all the details of those fun pages that we've done today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and if you're new here welcome i hope you consider subscribing to this channel um thank you so much for hanging out with me today guys i really appreciate your support and uh, for making me company and for liking my videos and commenting and all of that stuff i really appreciate each one of you uh, but that's it for today um, I'll leave you guys here and uh, yeah thank you so much I'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, yeah that's it bye for now